As we take a look right now, the Hampton Hotels Men's Three Point Championship. Here's the participants right now Chase Stanback of UNLV, Brandon Burgess, Virginia Commonwealth, Juan Fernandez, who Jimmy took out of Temple, Nick Marver, my choice out of High Point, John Sherman. Dan took him out of Northwestern, Ryan Smith, another Big Ten guy out of Purdue, Casper Ware, Long Beach, and Marcus Denman, sensational player from Missouri. First two competitors. Chase Stanback, UNLV, started his career at UCLA, and he led the Mountain West almost 46% from outside the arc. And shooting with him on the other end, Brandon Burgess out of Virginia Commonwealth. And they lost in the third round of the NCAA tournament. He might still be playing. And an NCAA record. He's durable, guys. 146 straight starts. Yeah, I liked about Brad Burgess. He was the one guy I thought on DCU that could score late in games. He was a tough guy down the stretch. Well, he got the jump. He's, yeah, he did. he's early. He's competing. <laughs> he ain't cheating. He ain't trying. That's right. Stand back. Money ball got it. If you're going to miss a couple, it's nice to pick that money ball as they move to the wing. Chase Stanback only with one mate. He's an acting major. He better start acting like a shooter in this competition. <laughs> he goes to the top of the circle, and he's struggling right now. Well, Bradford Burgess last year, remember that run in the Final Four? He shot 59% from the three-point line. That's how hot he was this time a year ago. Stanback got three from the top of the key. So, something to watch here on Burgess on the right. Watch if he holds his follow through. When he holds his follow through, he makes. Uh, he's made two there without holding three in a row. His money ball Whoa. is good. He, he got in the rhythm at the top of the key. You can see it. Stand back with 11. And the money ball rims out. Each with 12. What a comeback by Chase Standback. He only had one after the first track, and you know what he did not do? He was not first track sensitive. There we go. He moved right on, which is a must in this competition <laughs> every year. Jimmy, it just shows great mental toughness Absolutely. by Chase Standback. He Absolutely. didn't hang his head. No. First rack sensitivity can get you beat every time. Every you time. You watch the tapes over the years, and that's a key in this competition. Now we'll go out of the Las next Vegas. Here's your starting lineup, guys. <laughs> what matchups are you looking for? I, I like the point guard matchup. And he's all right. Speaking of all-star games, what kind of pace, what kind of game do you expect? Well, I think for sure. When you look at this, it's going to be up and down. You're going to see a lot of jump shots. Defensively, somebody has to set the tone. The team that wants to play an ounce of defense. Murphy. Got two looks. Oh. Kevin Murphy out of Tennessee Tech. Burgess up the floor. He'll get two free throws. He seeks contact, doesn't he? Schmitty, he Reminds seeks me it. a little bit of a teammate we had in Portland. Bonzi Bonzi Wells. Wells. Yeah, it's a great, great size. Game. You see how he goes to the contact. That's the key to drawing the foul. You don't try to avoid contact when you're attacking the rim. He's the Cal Ripken of college basketball, the all-time Ironman with 146 consecutive starts. Wow. That's a lot of games. That's a lot of games. And of course, a, a lot of NCAA tournament games and wins playing for Shaka Smart and Virginia Commonwealth, two consecutive, at the very least, Sweet 16. His younger brother, that's right, is going to be going to BCU. This run before halftime. Hey, great bullet pass by Casper Ware. And even better finish. <laughs> Bradford Burgess there, able to take the time. When you get a layup, you get a little bunny, you get a little feel, and start feeling good about yourself. Hey. Nice move. You talked about it. He, he plays like a, like a pro. Like, he knows how to get the spots on the floor and finish. Bradford Burgess of BCU.